Hello everybody. I am going to show you today how to make the uh, puzzle rewards and the memory game rewards. So I'm on my personal drive account and I've added the VIP Kid Google Slides folder to my drive. So I'm going to open that up and navigate to the reward and game slides folder. Okay. And I'm going to go to memory games make a copy. So I may I put that on there just to prompt everyone um, to to know that they need to make a copy in order for these games to work. You can't play them if the file is view only. So I'm going to open up the template. Okay, uh, I mean you can open it or you can just like right click and select make a copy. Um, so anywho, make a copy and. Um, it's if you try to save it just like this like okay it's not going to let you so just a quick tip you need to click the back 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 button <laughs> okay up here <laughs> so that you can save it onto your drive okay because you can't save something to a drive folder you don't have editing access to so um it'll automatically open up another way to quickly do that is just to right click and select make a copy and then from there, you can just select locate and it'll show you where that's at. So I've made this copy. And as you can see, we've got a bunch of uh, written directions here. Um, or you could just watch this video. <laughs> okay, so I've already pulled up um, some pictures that we're going to use. So, I mean, if you're on Google Images, um, you'll just right click and copy the image. So since I've only got four pictures to use, I'm going to use this eight, um, eight card template. So here's what we're going to do. Think of this as your, uh, I don't know, picture grid. That's what I referred to it in the directions. So I'm going to select the image from this slide and hit control C. I'm going to hop back over here and I'm on this eight template, eight card template. I'm going to hit control V to paste the image. So notice that this is just way too big. So we're going to have to resize. Okay. And we want the picture to fit inside the box. That's how it works. Okay. So inside the box, I'm having some issues. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So, um, Here's uh, another thing you can do. Instead of pasting it and resizing it a second time, just hit Control C to copy the image, the resized image, and hit Control V. Then you can drag the resized image wherever you want. And then I'm going to hop back over here and do the same thing with all of these. Control C, Control V, resize. I didn't pick the best images. <laughs> okay. All right. So I've got that. I'm going to hit control C, control V and do that for each of these. All right. So just a lot of copying and pasting and resizing. Okay. All right. And honestly, I mean, you can, Oops. You can do this um, really however you want. I know that Max is sometimes it's easier to drag from your desktop and okay. So almost done. Sorry, I just wanted to show you like the inner workings of it all. Just do like so you can see someone make one. Some people learn by by seeing. Some people learn by doing. Okay, so here is the picture grid. Now Notice down here on the speaker notes, it says this slide should serve as a preview of the card images. When finished inserting images, duplicate this slide, copy and paste, and place the cards over the images. So I just edited this today to add that because I thought, hmm, they probably would like to be able to preview what images are on each card before they make a copy to their drive. So, um, I am going to notice that like, I'm working on the slide canvas over here. When I hop over here with my mouse and select a slide, it becomes like outlined in blue. So that's how you know that a whole slide is selected. So I'm going to copy and paste a whole slide. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Now it's duplicated. 
So now what we're going to do is this is the preview. Um, like this, these are the images that were used. So I honestly, on mine, I, what I'll probably do is like add a little, uh, I don't know, shape or something and just like, um, just so everybody doesn't get confused, you know, I might add like preview or something like that. Okay. Then hop over here to the actual place where you're going to put your cards on. So you're going to, um, let me show you the quick way. <laughs> the long way is to copy each card individually and paste it onto your, your little game board type thing. Very easy way, guys. So click and drag, select all your cards at once. Hit Control C, go back to slide eight, Control V, bada bing, bada boom, and we're done. And you can honestly uh, just delete these cards, delete that card slide. So um, delete. Now, these two things are the only slides that I want to upload to the group. So I'm going to delete this 12 grid. I don't want that. Okay. And now here is how you play the game. So I use Manicam to screen share. If you want to use your phone on this game, I mean, it, it is like, I think I put that on this, on the directions here. It's important to note that this game is easier to play using a computer. The reason it's easier to play using a computer is because you have this slide canvas to work with and you have this slide outline, but, um, you know, to each their own. So let's say you tell the student like, hey, pick two numbers or pick two cards, whatever you want to say. So if they say five and two, I'll say, okay. So I select the card and I hit backspace. Oh, a kitten. Number two, backspace. Oh, man, no match, right? Okay, now, you obviously in the memory card game itself, like in real life, you would flip the cards back over. So how I'm going to flip the cards back over, I'm going to hit Control-Z, Control-Z, right? Or look right here, undo. So once again, that was just like, okay, the student picks four and seven. So I'll, I'll just click on this little space right here. Four, backspace, seven, backspace. Oh man, no match. And then control Z, control Z. Or you can click over here. So very simple. And then guys, if they find a match, <laughs> I don't even remember which cards were matches. So if they find a match, right, then you would just leave those cards up. You wouldn't hit control Z. Okay, so now that we've got that, out of the way. That's how you play and make a memory card game. And guys, if you make your own, please upload here. You just click this link right here. It'll take you straight to the upload form. And um, just a friendly reminder, if you are using resources from another group or if you are using borrowed images, please somewhere on the slideshow, like right here, you know, maybe you could take this off and put like source, um, I don't know, videos and props. There you go. Okay, that way we're giving credit to uh, the right person. We don't want anyone's hard work being, um, you know, unnoticed or whatever. Okay, so um, that's how to do that one. Okay, let me show you the puzzle one. All right, so I'm going back to the rewarding game slides, opening up puzzles, and you're going to want to open up puzzle templates for Google Slides. So let's say that I want to use just like this 12-piece uh, landscape. This one's pretty cool looking. I like it. Um, I think this is the one with like the jagged edges. Yeah. Okay. So once again, um, you can do file, make a copy or the quick and easy way. Just click make a copy. Okay. And it is important to note that the... Um, Puzzle templates have written directions as well, and you can actually, uh, yeah, you can just go step by step here. It's very simple. So, um, and you may want to think about finding an image that's similar to the, to the puzzle piece size that will come in handy later. So I'm going to just go ahead and grab one of these images. I think this one would be ideal, an ideal um, size to include. Okay. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is scroll down to 
this page right here where one of the pieces is missing, okay? There's no sense in copying and pasting the image underneath here because the kid's not going to see it. Hit Control V to paste that image. Okay, now it gets a little difficult here. That's why it's important to pick images that are like a similar size. All right, so notice that like, oh man, it just doesn't quite work. What you could do is like stretch the image. Sometimes those, sometimes images like, it doesn't really matter if they're stretched a little bit, but I think this one looks all right. What do you guys think? Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna right click and select order, send to back. Oh, okay, so. And then from there, you can kind of like move it around a little bit. Um, all right, well, it'll move the, the puzzle template around. Okay. And uh, now you're going to do the same thing here. Control V. Well, oh wait, I skipped a step. My bad, guys. <laughs> all right, so I'm, I'm, what I'm doing right now is I'm just sending that puzzle template to the back again. I'm going to copy this image that I made. If you copy it in the exact in the exact spot it's supposed to go in, it'll paste in the exact spot. So how cool, right? So I'm going to send to back. Okay. I'm going to go to my next slide. I'm going to hit paste. Order. Send to back. Go over here. Paste. Order. Send to back. And remember, you're just hitting control V to paste. Okay. Obviously, I mean, there's a, there's a keyboard shortcut for this. I just am not in the habit of using it, but it's control shift down arrow. Okay, so you see how this works here? Send to back, paste, and send to back. Um, so these puzzles are just um, a tip. I used to use puzzles like every single class, and they do get a little boring sometimes. Um, what can be a really fun thing to do is to um, do puzzles that it's really hard to guess what it is. So something random, okay? I included that blank slide right there, guys, so that you can um, include like a full resolution image to show them at the end. And you could also include a GIF or whatever you want to do. And then just upload, upload here. Okay. So then like this, this reward is actually ideal for a phone because you can just click through the slides, guys. And it's going to look a little funky at first. I don't know why, but um, that first image, first couple of slides, it just kind of, yeah. But there you go. You're just clicking through or swiping through rather. Okay, and the idea behind it is that you're asking them like, oh, what do you think it is? And this could be lesson content based, like you could do, you know, a picture of a goat if you are on like the mammals and birds unit or whatever. So that is how to do the template um, of a, the puzzle game. Okay, so just showing you guys, once again, I think I showed this in another video, but um, you may want to think about... Uh, watching this end here. So I'm going to upload two files here. And um, I just want, once again, click this link right here. All right, so, and this is, this stuff is really important to note. Read through that when you've got the time. <laughs> click add file, my drive. And what I like to do is I like to click last modified. And then it should show, like, right up here. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Ooh, wait, pause. Look, it says right here. Make sure that it's properly named. I don't want to be sending this to the group with the, just, like, that on there. It's not a good description of what it is. So let me go back over here, and I'm going to click um, Kitten Puzzle uh, 12 Piece. All right. There's no need to put your name on it because it's actually going to automatically add the, um, like it's going to add your name to it. I can't remember if this is the one that, maybe. Okay, yes it is. All right, so then we're going to do this. Kitten memory game, eight cards, okay. 
So now my files are named correctly. I'm going to go over here, back to upload, add file, my drive. It's important to note you do not want to select files from your computer because that's going to pull like PowerPoint presentations and other stuff. It's not going to grab Google Slides. So I'm selecting both of those. I just held down the shift button. Select. Type your first and last name. Oops. Okay. And just um, also know that these are going to upload as copies, not your original files. Click Next. Additional comments or questions. Your the best. <laughs> okay, hit submit. And um, then we will get a copy of your your files in our upload folder. And guys, the reason we have this like um, form is just because we don't I mean, we want to, we have a standard of quality that we've got, <laughs> we've got to keep up and um, our moderators and admins, we, we go through these slides and we just, you know, make any minor changes that we need to make so that everything looks pretty uniform and that we are providing teachers with the best quality of um, resources to use in their classroom.